I'm sure if we select other options, we'll get different dialogue here. Let's try to read them, I guess. This throne. This is the moment I've strived for. This is the moment I suffered for. What do you mean? Yes. I guess there's no hiding it anymore. I arranged my own imprisonment here. I arranged my own death sentence. I arranged my own suffering. Why would you do something like that? In order to reach greater heights, to unify the land, to bring upon the new era. I need this power. The strength of kings and queens is not enough. I need more. Something that lasts beyond me. You think you can achieve all that? Here? This place is the only place where I can achieve such grand goals. None of the Grand Kingdom's history books speak of... <clears throat> None of the Grand Kingdom's history books speak of stand on pure foundations. They were all built on bloodshed and violence. But what if there was a way that wouldn't require thousands of soldiers on opposing sides shedding their lives? What if such grand kingdom only re required one soul to succumb to the darkness, only one soul to be tainted? You ridiculous, self-indulging maggot. What are you even going to do with the power of the new gods? Are you two trying to push a new world order? An order where the cruelties of the older gods would only be a passage in the history books. You fool. This is not the part of the new gods. What? <laughs> <laughs> New gods, in fact, are just a creation of the rules of the old. They are there to guide mankind like a cattle to the slaughtering grounds. I'm sick and tired of hearing about the old world order and the new world order. Order this and order that. The mankind is not meant for an order. <laughs> Our place is in chaos. They're like Planescape allies. Yeah. <laughs> Humans originate from chaos. It's one in a billion coincidence that we even exist. Why would you try to control our existence and put it under an order? For mankind to truly be free from the reign of the older gods, we must strive for chaos. What's the matter, little bastard baby? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just crush your miserable worldview and beliefs? Debate me, bro. <laughs> just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. I feel like we have two of the hardest to have ally, uh, party members. Yeah. And then Anki. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Anki was like pretty hard to to get. Yeah, it was just like these are such weird esoteric. Like, like the first time we got to uh, Lagarde, they they he was just dead, and uh, like. Like it's, I'm surprised we even found the head guy in the first place, let alone found him and recruited him eventually through esoteric nonsense. Like, yeah, he, like it's basically a secret to even find him once. Yeah. As fucked up as that death encounter is, where he just fucking summons the where the wild things and monster at you. Like Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, I want to find Enki, who's over here. And I also want to hide in the hole.
There's a shallow hole here. Only one of us can hide inside. <laughs> Whoever <laughs> else is left out to be devoured. I'm at low hunger, so it's fine. There we go. That's fine. That's all I need. Then, uh, we'll just heal us both. Or, not heal us both. Eat us both. Eat, feed us both. That's the word I'm looking for. Alright, here we go. Should be right up here. Yep. How long has it been? Hundred years or so? Have you found what you're looking for? I found... something. They say Sylvian created us according to her own image. But what if there is a god, only an abstract, whom we have made physical according to our own image? <laughs> that would reverse our roles, essentially. Or is there a god at all? It's something we as humans cannot rely on anymore. I don't know if you can ever understand my motivations truly, but this is something only I can go through with. I was always meant to go through this. I did try to live my life otherwise, but it was all with no avail. To live is the same as to suffer. To survive. We need to find some meaning from all the suffering. The truth behind it all is the contrast. Without suffering, there would be no bliss or paradise. It is my duty to craft the paradise out of the miserable existence of human life. Only I can do it. I mean no harm to you. I am your god, after all. To show how much I love you, I will release you from this darkness one way or another. If you kneel to me, I will let you out. So, we're obviously going to choose you're not my god so that we can kill god, but... Yeah. There's... Have you equipped the attack twice item? Uh, yes. Because you don't really have a party. <laughs> yeah. Um... I also unequipped everything from him in case this is a gotcha boss fight and <laughs> we don't want him to have armor. Um, but here's a thing that I think is interesting about Berserk that is bad in like the karmic sense, but is interesting in this world. And I think it's something that's replicated here. So Griffith obviously sacrifices the Band of the Hawk, which are a mercenary group that is paid to kill people and start conflicts and engage in war. Griffith does this because he wants to create a utopia. Griffith then floods the world with monsters so that people come to his utopia. And his utopia becomes the most populated place. <laughs> his utopia is a utopia. Everyone is safe under his borders. He has made the world awful, but he protects people from the world. Ideologically, yeah, I'm at the part of the story where you're just starting to meet his new followers, and yeah. they all just idolize him, and it's like an uncomplicated, everything's great, and it's like, what do I do with this? Yeah, and that's kind of what I'm talking about. And what is kind of philosophically interesting about this is if his plan succeeds and everyone lives under him, Sure, it's a little megalomaniacal for him to do this and have absolute power. Like, who made him God? Well, the answer is he did. And, like, he is giving people a prosperity. So is in a world where he is objectively a God and has given people prosperity, is it wrong to just accept that world and live in it? I don't think for the average person that's that bad of a, of a rap. Like, I don't think that's that's terrible in the context of the world of Berserk, right? 
I think and, in modern human society, many people that are doing well are accepting unspeakable horrors in that yes. process. Yes. And I think it's interesting because what Guts, what we as the audience d- does is we sympathize with Guts because we like the band of the Hawk and we see them die and it's very sad and we want to undo the horrors that Griffith did on the world. But also what people don't realize when they're reading Berserk is that by undoing everything that happened on this quest for revenge, you are going to plunge the world into another power vacuum. And like, even if you kill the God hand, great, you've killed all the gods. That doesn't mean that suffering is gone. So there's an interesting parallel here of like a revenge story to get justice that is going to make the world a worse place. And the creation of a utopia at the cost of a sacrifice and the theoretical temporary violence it inflicts on the world. And obviously this is like an ends justify the means or do the do the means make the ends yeah. sort of thing. Like a, like a version of the same thing happens in Watchmen. Yes. And the question here is like, is Lagarde as God really that bad? Because he literally does, if we know from the last ending, he does let us out. And then he does unify the Western world. And like, what was the big, what was the big twist of that ending? That ending was, he looks kind of weird. He's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Like and it's something's like, up with Lagarde. Is that that bad in this horrible world where everyone was dying then and now isn't? Like, <laughs> that, like all things considered, that was a pretty good ending for the state of this universe. Yeah. It just, right. cut, it just cuts off your hero's journey idea that you are going to like, personally win through your own greatness and achieve some kind of uncomplicated positive ending yeah i mean don't take this as me advocating for something like this in real life obviously these are fiction and fiction exists to extrapolate themes and could not happen in reality and is not being real so like i'm not saying if griffith were real then i like i would be all for it like that's not the point here the point that is being said here is just like if I kill him, are we going to get a better ending? I really don't know about that. Yeah. It's just you are a lot not of it my goes, god. A lot of it goes dangerously close to, like, Manhattan Project logic. Yeah. I love you, regardless. It is unconditional. <laughs> okay, it's just the Yellow King. Yeah. Hi. What's oh, up, I... bro? Uh, where'd, no, those, where'd those clothes come from? <laughs> he was not, he was explicitly not like that one second ago. I've lost pyromancy, so I can't can't damage him that way. I wonder if the background is the series of statues that were the other characters. Oh, he summoned a thing. An asterisk. What is that? I don't even know what to make like what to make of that. Yeah. Cool snake, bro. Does it come in straight? There's a heart now? He's summoning missing no. <laughs> I offer salvation. How did you poison a new god? <laughs> what if he was a huge pushover? Oop. <laughs> Healing whispers. That's the thing that that's the thing you can get on your thing if you fuck more. You gotta go back and fuck the bunnies and then you can learn healing whispers. I'm not loving your chances. No. The fact that they heal is not great news for you either. 
Oh. <laughs> Poison strong. Okay. Oh, he's not. He's not okay. Uh, if you have healing, I would do that before you do anything else. Nope, I lost control. The game's over. I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You defeated the guard, the prophesized one, with delusions of creating a new era with his godhood. Considering what manhood means, the more people say godhood, <laughs> I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> After his defeat, you wake up out outside the vile fortress that trapped you before. It all seems so hazy. Did all those, did all those events really happen? You can still smell all the blood and the gore that seeps through the seams of the ancient stone walls of the dungeon. You can still feel the gaze of the hundreds of past warriors sacrificed in the pools of blood, now left to rot. You can still feel the pressure of the never-ending darkness that the underground caverns offered. Scarred for life, you run away from the dungeon. Hounds howl at your tracks, but you are way past fearing such small dangers that dwell under the sun. Horrors of the past never leave you alone, though. Every night you wake up from restless dreams where you are forever trapped in the bloody corridors of the dungeon. The dreams become more and more lifelike as time goes on, until you cannot tell the difference between a lucid dream and the real world. In the end, your fate was to dwell these dungeons forever. That itself feels gutsy. The ending yellow king scene. ending. The yellow king, yeah. That feels like a gutsy ending in itself in that guts never leaves the eclipse, essentially. Yeah. As a function of his curse. Like yeah. The, the, it's just a, a permanent thing that's happening to him. Hmm. I'm surprised that neither of these endings we've gotten have in any way acknowledged the fact that you are now a hybrid marriage person. Yeah. I don't I know. Maybe that would be would come up more. Maybe this is something I need to progress. Maybe I need to marry every marryable party member or something to get the marriage ending. I I don't know. Oh my god. You just become more homunculi. -y. Yeah, well, we probably become the flesh pile that we can see. We become something like that, is my guess. Yeah, it's a good thing you were able to defeat him because otherwise you were gonna have to like go back and like dump the head and get Dars just to have another party member. Because yeah, I don't think we can dump the head. Because I just like don't, he doesn't. Yeah, he's not point, interactable. Cause have, right, yeah. cause he has to die normally. Maybe you can sacrifice him. Maybe yeah. The that's cheesy a, that version a, of the crow mauler. I think that's some... for for the <laughs> the dungeon knights. <laughs> Ooh woo. Well, yeah. this is our <laughs> I guess our canon endings, right? We just got these two. Those are interesting. Yeah, we now have three endings at least. Yeah. Nice. We have the looming question of the throbbing purple shit that yeah. that just straight up counts down. Like here's how many are left, basically, as you get them. Uh. I do wonder if the girl has an ending, just because that feels like one of those things where they saddle you with a problem at the beginning of the playthrough. But I yeah. feel like, in, unless they kill the girl at a certain logic gate or something, I feel like yeah. you could just go back, get the girl, and then cheat. Like just I can, I think. I mean, I can kill Enki any... right now. I could kill Enki right now and yeah. get the girl, because I didn't pick her up in this playthrough. Yeah, well, you'd probably want to get Enki's arm... Yes, I would want to get Enki's arm, but so I can't. Get the I can't wield. Spear. The, I can't wield the circle spear. I only have one arm. Yeah, but if you fuck, then you can wield the circle spear later. <laughs> I can't. I can't have sex with anyone. No one who I tried to have sex with in my party will let me. Yeah, well, you get Enki's arm, and then you chop off Dars's arms, and oh. then you fuse with Dars, and then you become the super Let's go hybrid do that. nightmare Let's... that wields the the the. the the circle spear while simultaneously enacting several furry kinks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do that right now, then. You, you I, achieve I your final form. And then you stab the final purple pustule. <laughs> and you get the, 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 you killed the earth ending. You, those were the earth's hearts. Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh, I can use a purifying talisman. I don't even need Enki. Hey.
Hello. Use the hexen. Lock picking. War. Many of cool. five of these. Devour marksmanship. I want blood portal. What is blood portal? Blood dude? portal. Pheromone. Maybe you can place two portals and then travel between them. Loving oh, we whispers. didn't even have these at all in this timeline. Yeah. Oop. It's very sketchy that I can exit out of that menu by accident before <laughs> before doing anything. Uh, we only have on two uh, two left. I'll save save the last one. It's actually really hard to navigate this menu. Can I use my mouse? I can't. It's very Imagine. very tough. What the? Why does pressing up right there <laughs> move me down? <laughs> it's a mystery, like what you have to press. Like, <laughs> what? There we go. Oh, steel, whatever. Yeah, that's not that helpful. It's truly the Dark Souls of skill trees. Nice. Masked man. Oh my god. The, <laughs> the mysterious man looks like a war veteran almost. His right arm seems to be missing and there's something very intimidating about his stature. Oh. Who are you? What difference does it make? Not like we're going to run into each other ever again. You never know. On the second thought. The name is Isaiah. You can call me. A veteran of these dungeons. Some time ago I found a manuscript concerning the ancient walls this fortress holds. There were multiple pages that were maps of sorts. I was able to locate a few of the map locations, and there were hmm. buried treasures hidden where the marker was set. Jesus Christ, did we just unlock a completely new mechanic? <laughs> a couple of the maps are complete mystery to me, however. Maybe they're hidden somewhere so deep where I simply couldn't get yet. Or maybe there's something I'm missing. In any case, I'm done with this place. I've played with my luck long enough. I can sell you the maps for, say, 50 silver coins. I don't have yeah, enough. You don't have <laughs> enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hallway collapsed here makes you wonder how the rest of this old fortress holds up. How are we still finding things? What the fuck? That's actually wild. He's just there. What made him show up? He wasn't there at the beginning of the game, like... Yeah. Alright, this is, she, is, is she the room. Erot is she erotophobic in this one? She is. She is, but... She's the only other character that we've met, so I have to. This is this is a we learning have to experience. Believe. Yeah, it's also just a combat stat, potentially and not a yeah. narrative one. And you get to have the furry weapon, so like it's worth it. Yeah. But that potentially. Look at this, this is stuff that loving loving people do for each other. Yeah, I'm gonna, this she's is gonna be my wife. This is an uncomplicated, untoxic relationship. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <sighs> you have the entire chain behind you. If what you fucking the died? If you fucking died right here? Oh my god. Okay, that's the best person that it could attack. Ugh. That's fine. Yeah, we're good. All right, so let's just make sure. Three arms. Guess it has to be done. I can help with the inevitable. I just want to make sure I have four in case I forgot to put one down earlier. This is quite the commitment. Now, no one has arms in this party. It's fine. It's the armless leading the armless. No way, no way. What are you thinking? That's disgusting. 
What? Why is that disgusting? Show love. No. No. Yes. Not gonna happen. Show love. Yes. Oh no! Make love. Why, of course. Too bad nothing gets me aroused quite as burnt meat. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, that's a fun that's a fun end to this potential playthrough that we tried. I think if we want to go this furry route, weapon ending defeated. Yeah, I think if we want to go this route, we have to plan for it. So if maybe at a, a later, it's so hard to have enough yeah, limbs. God damn. Juncture, we'll we'll try to figure out what to do there. But well, one of the one that's very interesting to me is that the. Uh, in order to achieve the secret ending for the night, which is Dars, you need to be too late to save Lagarde, and then resurrect him with a necromancy spell. Interesting. So you have to have a really specific Lagarde in your party. That's with her specific very specific relationship with that character. Like those are those are interesting reveals. Yeah. Or like hooks. I don't know. If it's, can you can't really call it a reveal. That's like the kind oh. of ending you need a wiki in order to even find because yeah, like at least we found the NPC for this one. But how would you know that to do those steps in, the, in yeah. that character? I would definitely. Uh, I will definitely like look at a like a walkthrough or something. You know what I mean? Like or yeah. like watch like a playthrough or something just to see what see what a lot I, of this I, stuff means i guess i don't know it's it's just interesting i could totally like, see the the you that beat bloodborne on with every weapon being <laughs> the person that would go back and get every ending as every character in this game eventually it's just in sp the specific context of what's playing and streaming and so on it's you you're just like you, you start feeling you're like you're squeezing blood from a stone and you're like jesus christ i'm so ready to move on from this at some point yeah i mean honestly streaming to get the s endings could be pretty interesting because this game this game i can see being an okay stream game cuz like people would enjoy watching you suffer and like lose all the time but uh yeah i don't know i don't know if i have it in me to like do all the specific pieces a pitch black new world is unveiled before you. A cold wind carries over unnatural cries from all around you. You are not alone here, even if it would seem otherwise. That's so ominous. <laughs> now, uh, if I remember correctly, the way we want to go is right up here. A terrifying presence has caught my scent. He can sniff my musk. Uh, oh no. Oh no, ooh. We'll try not to die suddenly now. <laughs> and then right here we go up. Ooh. Who is that? Hi. That's you, isn't it? Oh, oh, it is. Yeah. Interesting. Hedron, you remember the moment we got our freedom for the first time? That is the feeling we've been striving for ever since. Leave your burdens behind, leave your body behind. Let me continue our flow with the wind. Oh, I forgot to grab everyone. <laughs> Oops. Uh, it's just you alone against yourself, but not right. yourself anymore. The only place where I can truly be free are my dreams. In the vast open plains of this netherworld, I hold no burden over the worries of my past life. Of course, this is a flawed logic. One should not bind oneself to a set location. One should be able to wander the world like a wind. But even gods are allowed to have flaws, no? As time will pass, will you tell people about your monumental achievement and share your gospel? How you passed through all the hardships, the dungeons laid before you, and, uh, and about your eventual ascension? What do you think? Should we share the gospel or live in silence? Uh... uh, uh. Live in silence is my bet, because he's like a mercenary who wants to be free, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think he'd want to become the leader of a religion. He didn't yeah. come here with that goal. Your story is left unspoken and unsung. There are rumors here and there, but for the most part, the era of the new god started diminishing with your ascension. In the coming era, mankind is at the brink of chaos. Diseases run wild and kingdoms wage war with hundreds of thousands of casualties on all fronts, both women and children included. You would have the power to interrupt and potentially stop this. You would have the strength to stop the mindless killing. 
but that would require you to step out of the plane of this void. Instead, you could try to affect mankind through religion and beliefs. Affecting the whole culture means slow change, and its effects don't save those in immediate peril, but religion might have more long-lasting effects. Hmm. This is interesting. So, like, it, without him here, we essentially become... The one the he ne- became. The new god. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so suddenly just an unprecedented number of choices happen. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do you think? What do you think this guy would do? Um... What are, we, what are we thinking? Uh, hmm. I mean, I figure a mercenary is just going with strength. Like that, I don't think that religion would be in his thought process. Yeah. So he would just go the demigod route, like trying to Hercules through the, anything that he thinks needs to change. Yeah. Like guts. Yeah. You leave your golden throne to disrupt the ongoing wars. With overwhelming strength, you crush entire armies that stand in your way. Kings and sultans of the time are left in terror before your power. Once you are done with your rage, mankind is left in a state of chaos. Common people got no one to turn on on to, and thus seek safety from smaller tribes and communes. By meddling with mankind... Turn unto. Yeah, turn unto. You ended up halting the technological and cultural progress. People are also less self-imposed because of relying on gods in the past. The civilizations are back to Iron Age-like structures, where physical strength is the only thing that matters. The harsh times breed harsh men. Mankind is physically in its peak condition because uh, of the warring tribes. <laughs> because there's I don't no like centralized... that slogan coming out. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no centralized civilization, creating a strong, uniform religion proves to be difficult. With all new understanding of morals and customs, people riot against the gods of older times. You manage to withstand against the oncoming forces for some time, but eventually among mankind there appears a successor to your reign. You are beheaded, and your mutilated torso is put on display. You become a symbol of old, and in this way you are remembered, even in coming centuries. It's like a fake-out fight. They just wanted to show you the sprite. (laughs) Yeah, they just wanted us to see how cool we looked. This you that is also not you. Oh. You never escaped the dungeons of fear and hunger. Instead, you chose eternal void and darkness as a new god. Ending D, a new god. Okay, interesting. Hello. That's kind of that's kind of interesting. You're gonna be so rad and cool alone in the void with your abs. <laughs> We've got like four endings now, I think. Because there was yep. two. Lagarde endings, this ending, and then the one where we run away like a little baby and only only play half the game. That ending is so early that you haven't even gone to the city yet. Yeah. That's wild to me. So my next guess, and this is the thought that I had before, is that obviously there must be an ending with the girl. Yes. Now, I, I don't know how to get that but we just cleared our party up so uh maybe i'll go grab her and throw her in the party so for what comes next we're gonna have an ending with the girl and a potentially an ending without the girl which you might want to do first for the sake of not having to get the girl to that first okay but the no matter what you do the first step you need to do uh, the, the next step to do to enable both those endings and then save after probably is to uh, go through the tree and destroy the last part of the heart. Okay. Okay, we can do that. So that, uh, part, that part turned out to be correct is that you should have destroyed one heart near the final boss and one yep. that was like near uh, Lagarde. And so the only other one is at the bottom of the tree. It sounds like a, a stomach. It does kind of, yeah. What's down here? No. Nope. Everything's shitty now. Yeah, we checked everything out here. Is there one more flo- floor beneath us? Level 7 catacombs. And this is all the way back. Yeah, here. What the fuck? Where is it? Nothing over here. Chambler, mumbler thing over there. Wish this chair wasn't always loud all the time. Ah. <laughs> Just gotta get yourself a nice, get yourself a nice Herman Miller, 
These were expensive chairs. The secret is just to weigh half as much as I do. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh... Once you're over 200 pounds, you just need a couch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Where do we go? What is around for us? Oh, nope. You're an illithid. We are I would stay going. in the green zone. Yeah, I am going to. I'm not going to hop down that hole. Don't worry. That's the last hole. We don't want to go anywhere near it. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, here it is. There it is. The organ stopped moving completely. It must have been the last one. You hear a faint scream-like sounds echoing through the dungeon. Seems like an older presence has died. Just the idea is monumental and almost too much for you to bear. So, is it the the, the thing in the depths? Is it the thing in the mines? Because it says an older presence has died. And that's the only old presence I can think of so far. Uh, what I am going to do... Wait, where's all my meat? Where's all my meat go? Where are my meats? I had a ton of meat that I cooked. Where is it? In this timeline, though? <laughs> yeah, here it is. I just It just took me a while to find it. An inventory with this big, with, crossed with how many timelines we've gone through, just it ruins my brain. I would struggle so much at keeping straight, keeping it all straight. Well, yeah, we I'm already, already annoying. With I'm already annoying straight. everybody by just tr like actively trying to ignore the your companions have inventories feature of Fallout New Vegas because I just don't want to have to deal with even more inventories. <laughs> All right. Uh, the huge creature is lying here with its mouth gaping open. It looks like there are ladders set here. What? Uh, someone's already inside, I guess. Investigate. It's pitch black down there. The smell is repulsive in a way you can't even begin to describe. I guess we're time to go nah. into the mouth. It looks like the poop walls. There's, yeah, and there's somehow oh. colors in here. The mouth closes behind you. You're now trapped here. Okay. The bugs are biting your feet. Oh, what is that? The floor. Oh my god. Uh, Nishra, aren't you an ugly bastard? Okay. Uh, How are the teeth going all the way down his dick? Moonless guard. No. Uh, skills, black orb. Black orb. Uh... Skills greater hurting. Okay, we're good. Do you think this is the monster that just like closes around you like a fur suit and just closes, down, just clamps it's the, down? It's the Gleepnir monster. <laughs> yeah, it's just, a, just, it's just got a full body mouth. This girl's been in your party for five minutes and immediately regrets it. Like, more so than any other timeline. Yeah, oof. You brought her straight to the the pig zipper. <laughs> Don't call it that. It's just the worst thing. This does not spark joy. How is it still alive? No, oh, thank God it fought Nishra. Ugh. Okay. You could use it is such an advantage here. to have a character that's immune to damage. But oh, every God. second you hear the floor hurts you, so that's fun. Okay, I love well, we hate that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, okay. it just actively, it actively pushes against your urge to explore, because every moment you try to explore, you're getting hit by the floor. Ah. I have no healing items, so I don't know if I'm going to survive this. No. Oh, I'll, I'll survive this because he keeps Yay. attacking Nishra. He just looks so bite-sized. Oh, phew. Oh my oh. god. Time to pay attention. Oh god. Oh no. 
No. You died what? to an instant death trap. How did I die to an instant death trap? Dang it. Cause, cause it hit you with its instant death. Uh, I feel like the cause and effect is pretty straightforward here. <laughs> well, it allowed me to. It allowed me to keep moving, so I was confused. Yeah, but I think I think that's just you bleeding out. It's just you just having a moment to process how bad things just went. Uh, <laughs> after all that, no. It's fine. We'll be okay. We'll make it work. You've got to be kidding me. Phew. It's just got so white knuckle. <laughs> that one looks faster. What? No. I was... Ah. You are getting terrified. I don't know what to do. Ah. Welcome to the torture really ending. Yeah. We have to redo it 75 times. Ah. What? I how I don't understand where it's I don't understand where it hits me because like I am I was totally through it that time when it got to get more swinging glaive practice normal skills Fuck the gauntlet a terrifying presence has entered the room Oh hi buddy oh he's got two heads now He's worse. Killing two birds with one stone. Ha, everyone has one health. Yep. <sighs> what a douchey hole to throw you down. They put you in a hole with a two-headed <sighs> version of the crow. Ouch. All right, so hug <sighs> the top of the hallway going left or there's a hole. Yep. My question is, do I need to go up or do I need to go to the left? I do not know. Me neither. All right, gaping Hello. hole to the unimaginable depths. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Great. It just says there's a hole. It doesn't even. It doesn't ask you if you want to jump in. Yeah. How unlike them. Cloth fragment and a stick. Glass vial. Notice the girl's hands shaking. She looks absolutely terrified. All right. A terrifying presence has entered the room. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, 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 here he comes. <laughs> we ran past him. <laughs> Wait, what? Was this a false ending? Oh, you went to the gauntlet. Oh, I guess so. This is where you landed when you fell in the hole. You yeah. just went there yourself now. Okay. Everyone's health is fucked. Yep, sure is. The spike thrusts a deep wound into you. This thesaurus porn is getting out of hand. Oh my god. Ah, we had walked past him so many times. Alright, someone's gonna die no matter what. Girl has no mind, I have no mind. Skills, black... Orb, skills, greater hurting. Pray that he just doesn't hit me. Uh. <sighs> I could die right here, or Enki could die. I don't know. I got a crit, of course, right after it matters.
Bye, Yankee. It was nice knowing you. This is where sanity goes to die. Nope. Girl is at the edge of her sanity. Girl isn't even alive anymore. She gains panophobia. Oh, what the fuck? You see that giant ball? I did. No! Ugh. This guy! Oh my god, this place keeps going. It's like horrible giant versions of these guys. He's coming! Oh. Level 9. Just bodies everywhere. Oh my god. This reminds me of the end Uz of Darkwood. Uzumaki. Yeah. <sighs> oh, okay. You take a look into the black. Oh, dear God. Nishra! Yes! <laughs> Grogoroth! Oh, this is Grogoroth. The flesh creature. Yeah. You nasty, vile pistain! <laughs> this is the day. This is the day. <laughs> well, Nishra burned. burned into ash. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Well, uh, so you have no arms and you must boss fight now with one health. Hey, uh, I've been eyes. cursed. That's where that's where you shoot with you to get the weak spot. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is a zero percent chance we can do this with our current build. I think there is zero. There is absolutely no chance we will make it. I don't think there's any way the math works out. I <laughs> Oh my god, it just kept going. Yeah, it just kept going. I don't, I honestly, I truly don't think there is anything we can do there. Um, at all. I don't, I don't think it's possible. Yeah, I think one of your only chances is, is to go back and do it with Lagarde. But even then, I don't but know. But Lagarde's the only person I can remove from my party other than hoping to god Enki dies. Uh... Yeah. And without Enki, I can't a different, do enough damage. <laughs> you essentially want to build a different party that's just that's the guard Enki and uh Dars. Dars. Cuz this guy that. can't cuz this guy also can't do the boss fight. Oh, Nishra can't either. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So having him in the party <laughs> permanently screws your attempt ability to do this ending apparently because he can't be in it. He yeah. just dies instantly apparently. Hmm, that's a bummer. Uh let's well, let's see what we can do. I'm just going to look around. Now, there is something I know about the game. Maybe I'll just take this as a moment to show off something I found out when I was trying to, to fool around and, and see what other runs would bring me. If you stand right here and press enter... Where is it? I think I was one behind. It's right there I don't know if it'll work when we have this many party members we suddenly get an your, lead, your lead hacker location yeah this is just a weird debug thing you get given the best weapons in the game and a shitload of healing items it's just like a weird cheat that's right there yeah uh, there's also something you can do right here but it doesn't work because I have party members, but it just puts people in your party, which is weird. It feels like a debug <laughs> thing, but I found it when I was just mashing to like investigate stuff 
it popped up, which is weird. Uh, so I can't optimize that because I see. Oh yeah, so we have we have more party members now. Ron Nivalder and Dars are in our party somehow. Wait, <laughs> wait. There's yeah. another page of party members. Yeah. Normally you can oh, only have two. And, oh, there's you can an only up have and four. down arrow. So now this part is significantly. No! <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. 